Well, good afternoon, everybody. I'll start off with our safety disclaimer the way we always do. So these classes and what I say are not medical advice. Please consult with your healthcare professional team before making changes to manage your health. This presentation does not represent Parkinson Canada's endorsement of products or treatment related to Parkinson's disease. This presentation is meant to provide general information. If you have specific questions about managing Parkinson's disease for yourself or for others, please contact info at parkinson.ca or you can always call 1-800-565-3000. Again, the number is 1-800-565-3000. So, welcome. It's Monday to your at-home workout classes brought to you by Parkinson Canada. My name is Lance Latane. I am the events coordinator here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. And if you're new to the class, welcome. It's great to have you on board. And for those of you that are veterans, thank you for your patronage. It is fantastic to see you again. So these live classes uh, are broadcast every Monday, Tuesday, and Friday at 1.30 Central Time. And you can find the live broadcast on the <laughs> excuse me, Parkinson Canada Superwalk group page. So if you want to become a member and you want to watch the classes live, you just have to go to the Parkinson Canada Superwalk group page, like it, and you will be able to watch the classes live. And of course, these classes are part of the movement, the Parkinson Canada Superwalk Movement. It's a monthly challenge designed to encourage you to get 150 minutes of exercise per week. The month of May, we had a predictive exercise. June was the chance to dance. July, here we are. We're already like a third of the way into July. This is uh, your, your, your you have exercise classes presented to you uh, live. And then the next month, we have the 100,000 step challenge. Seems like a lot, but it is manageable. Uh, you just have to stay consistent and stay at it. Uh, and then, of course, the month of September, we have the Parkinson Canada Superwalk itself. Uh, you can find uh, more information about the movement at www.superwalk.ca. It's a fantastic program that's associated with the Superwalk. Um, you'll benefit a lot from participating in it. And there's some awesome prizes that you could win, too. And of course, you can also find recordings of these classes. They're all posted uh, either on the Parkinson Canada Manitoba Facebook group page, and we also have them on the Parkinson Canada YouTube channel. If you have any questions, any comments at all, don't be afraid to post on the group pages or on YouTube, or you could always send me a personal message, uh, Lance Latane. You can find me on Facebook. Uh, I do realize it's uh, a little bit challenging sometimes to ask some questions in front of a group of people that you don't know. So yes, you're, uh, there's confidentiality. Um, I'm not going to break that. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. So I thought I would continue along the trend how we ended off last week talking about the benefits of exercise, not so much on the <coughs> excuse me physical end of things, but more on the internal and um, and more with the brain specifically this week. So neuroplasticity, I don't know if you've ever heard about this, but it's your brain's ability to be able to adapt and to mold to be able to learn new things. It does get harder. If you are, I do have a diagnosis with Parkinson's disease and, and the disease manifests itself in that way. The symptoms manifest themselves uh, cognitively for you. But the good thing is with exercise is that um, we can try and it slows down the whole process of um, your executive functioning, not being able to balance all the things that uh, make up your daily life. Uh, so with uh, learning new exercises, it's a way you're challenging your brain, you're challenging your body uh, to learn, and you're creating those new pathways, which is essential if we want to at least stabilize what you have. Um, so yeah, the brain is learning too while your body is learning. That's, I think, the, the important thing to remember. Learning new patterns and ways to think is called neuroplasticity. So looking at some animal-based re <laughs> research, there's some correlation studies that uh, show us that with exercise, our body is able to uh, more efficiently use the dopamine that is made available. So that's a great thing about exercising and why you want to exercise if you have Parkinson's disease. You have growth of new blood vessels and it helps the brain get more oxygen and nutrients. That sounds like a pretty good thing. 
uh, improved use of energy by your brain cells. So your brain has a better metabolism, so it's working more efficiently. And again, that's uh, some correlation studies that show the benefits of exercise with Parkinson's disease. And of course, the increased release of special proteins that strengthens the connections between the brain cells. So a great thing to be, a uh, great reason why to be exercising. Hello, Pete. Yes, thank goodness it's Monday. It's great to see you, Pete, as always. I look forward to hearing from Pete. Uh, benefits continued. We have reduced effects of the immune system. So there's less inflammation with regular exercise, growth of new brain cells as well. And it also, I found it very interesting, is that it makes seems to show that there's more um, efficient use of the medi of the medication that you are taking. And of course, if you are are, are a person who's living with med uh, with Parkinson's disease, you realize the importance of being very consistent uh, with uh, taking your medication, taking it at the same time, and so you're able to monitor yourself. And it helps also, also helps with your caregivers as well. Um, there's no one best exercise for Parkinson's disease, so it's a combination. And these classes, we try and have the combination where we're exercising our heart and our lungs, so that's aerobic exercise. But we also do some strength training exercises, balance training, and flexibility. So if you can find a combination of exercises that incorporate all those uh, disciplines, uh, that's what you're looking for. A uh, big thing is, though, you want to be able to enjoy yourself. You want to be able to have fun. That's the big thing. Uh, so some shout outs here before we get going in today's class. We have Gay and Jerry. Gay and Jerry are down in Florida. We have Jean and Don, and of course Jean and Don are in Florida. Karen and Robin, Betty and Rick, Joan and Ken, Julien, Nathan, Haley, Nora, Donna, Melissa, Mike, and of course Pete. Hello Pete, great to see you. So that's it for our shout outs for today. How about we get exercising? Let's get busy. I'm going to take off my glasses. So for those of you that are just new to the class, now is a really good time to have a, a sip of water. But if you do have a sip of water, just make sure you put your water bottle uh, aside so it's not going to be a tripping hazard. Mm. It's nice to have cool water on a hot day. Mm -mm. Okay, so... Here we go, I'm gonna back up my chair. I gotta get my sun visor on because the sun's gonna be right in my eyes. Here we go. So I'm just gonna adjust the camera here so that you can see my toes because there's gonna be some toe tapping going on here. I wanna be able to demonstrate properly so that you're seeing everything that I am doing. All right, so we start off the same way every single time. So we're going to sit up nice and straight, stand up nice and straight, Let's pull our shoulders back, put a big smile on our face, closing our eyes, you're going to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. We're going to do this three times. Big breath in and out. Big breath in and out. Big breath in and out. Opening our eyes, so our warm up, we're getting our brain ready, we're getting our body ready for exercise here. So, if we're getting our brain ready, we're gonna do our slap, clap, snap. So, they're gonna clap our thighs five times, clap our hands five times, and snap our fingers five times. We're gonna go from five down to one and all the way back up to five. Ready, gang? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two. One. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. All right, okay, so now we have our brain ready to follow along. Some exercise here. Okay, so we're gonna start off, we're just going to uh, do some ankle rotation. So you're gonna stick your leg out, you're gonna rotate your ankle one way, 
making circles. Now let's rotate the other way. Rotating our foot the other way. Of course, I'm doing classes outside again at my house here in Winnipeg. Stop what we do to one leg, we're going to do to the other. Sticking your other leg out, we're going to rotate our ankle, so making some circles with our feet. Let's think of our posture, sitting up nice and straight. And let's go the other way. Still filling up the exercise here? I hope so. If you're not though, by all means, you don't have to do this. These classes are recorded, so you can come back and check them when you're feeling a little bit stronger. Okay, from here, how about we try and do some arm circles. We're gonna stick our arms out shoulder height. If it hurts too much to have your shoulder, uh, your hands up high, you can drop your hands a little bit. But we're gonna start off making some small circles going forward. Again, thinking of our posture. Get some smiles on our faces. Small circles going forward. Let's go a little bit bigger now. There we go. And bigger yet. And biggest yet. All right, nice big circles. And the stop, it's gonna go reverse now, big circles. We're gonna go big down to small. And smaller. Smaller yet. And just tiny little circles. And stop. You probably feel that in your deltoids, so your shoulders over here. If you find that it's a little bit too much, you don't have to do everything. You can just slow down, do as much as you can. That works for me as well. So from our arm circles, we're going to do some heel tap in front, together, toe to the side, together. Other foot, tap in front, together, tap side, together. Front, back, side, together. Front back, side, together. All right. So this is getting towards the end of our warm up. Again, if you're feeling good, you're feeling strong enough to be able to follow along, that's great. I look forward to working out with you. But if you're not feeling up to it right now, you can come back to these classes. These classes are posted pretty much right after the class is done. You can find them on the Parkinson Canada Manitoba Facebook group page and on the Parkinson Canada YouTube channel together. Front, back, side, together. Front, back, side, together. Two more. Front, back, side, together. Last one. Front, back, side, together. All right, that's our warm up. <laughs> so I just need to have a quick sip of water here again. I feel like I got a scratchy little voice here right now. There we go. All right, so now we're going to be entering into our aerobic section or our cardio section of our class here. So it's going to be over 15 to 20 minutes of continuous movement. If you get lost in any of the choreography or any of my instructions, you know, our go-to move is our marching. Just keep on moving. That's what we're looking for is continuous movement. So if you're not able to do everything that you can march, I would encourage you to march along. Okay, so <coughs> speaking of which, let's do, start off with a slow march. March, 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 and march. March, 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 march. How about we try something a little bit different today? We're going to add a shoulder shimmy. Can you shimmy your shoulders and keep on marching? Shimmy those shoulders. Getting our body ready. It's a little bit more challenging. Shimmy those shoulders and march challenging to shimmy your shoulders keeping your beat shimmy those shoulders all right should be on the dance floor right now getting ready to dance march 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 and march 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 and march how does that feel all right so we're going to go for a bit of a run, we're going to change things up again. So let's go back just to marching. March, march, march and march. Sitting up nice and straight if you're just sitting up. For those of you that are standing, let's make sure it's nice and safe around you, that there's no coffee tables around. If you were to have a fall that you would hit your head on. 
March, 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 and March. Okay, so now we need to bring our exercise up to uh, more of a vigorous intensity level. So one way of doing that is by going a little bit faster. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to pick up the pace. March, 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 and March. Okay, faster yet. March, 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 and March. March, 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 and March. March, 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 March. Okay, how's that for pace? March, 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 and March. Kind of between a brisk walk and a slow jog. March, 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 March. So you, right now you should feel your heart rate getting faster. Your heart rate will be beating harder as well. As well as your breathing rate. It will pick up. But the good thing is, we're getting a lot more oxygen into our body. Our brain loves this oxygen. Our body loves this oxygen. March, 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 and march. March, 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 march. Okay. So we're going to go a bit of a roller coaster here. So we're going to slow it down in 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, slowing it down. March, 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 and march. March, 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 march. March, 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 and march. Okay, so we're going to go for one more little quick run here before we change up to do some heel taps and we're going to be rolling our arms at the same time but we'll get there first of all we're going to go for another little mini run in four three two and one let's go march 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 okay there we go we got a nice we're at a jog right now. So for those of you that are runners, welcome to our running section. March, 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 march. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, slowing it down. March, 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 march. Okay, that was a good little run. I'm going to stand up. March, 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 and march. Okay. How about now? We'll bring it wide. We're going to do some wides and narrows. So it's going to be a wide, wide, narrow, narrow. Here we go. Wide, wide, narrow, narrow. Wide, wide. Wide, wide, narrow, narrow, wide, wide. There we go. How does that feel? Hmm, right now somebody's having a fire in our neighborhood. Nice fresh smell of wood burning. Right next to the Red River in central south Winnipeg. Nice sunny day. Feeling great. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, marching it out nice and slow. So no arms. So from here, for those of you that are sitting, it'll be the same thing, just marching on the spot. We're going to do some heel taps in front, and we're going to try and roll our hands at the same time. So it's going to look like this. We'll start with the heel tap. So heel tap and back, tap and back, tap and back, tap and back. Okay, so we got the heel taps going on. If you feel up to it, like you have the coordination, by all means, give it a go. It'll be fun. If you find it too hard, you can just do the heel taps by themselves. Here we go. So try rolling arms forward. There we go. Again, the more muscle groups that we have moving, 
the better it is. The more intense the exercise is going to be. Tap and back, tap and back, tap and back, tap and back. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. No arms, just our legs. Tap and back, tap and back. Okay, so that new movement, if you have never done it before, you're trying to learn this. And that's good, that's what we're looking for. We're trying to learn new, new things. We're creating those tree branches of growth and development. That's what we want. The more branches that we have, theory is the more dopamine is going to be made available for your body to transmit those signals. Tap and back, tap and back. Four, three, two, and one. Let's try the rolling again. Tap and back, 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 tap and back. If you find this too hard, you can just do the legs or you can just do the arms and back, tap and back. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's march it out. All right, we're learning. We're doing what we can. We're doing everything we can. Keep our body active, keep our brain active, keep everything growing. We're never too old to learn, are we? All right, that's the spirit. That's what I want. March, 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 march. March, 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 march. I still kind of want to do that. <laughs> it felt good to do that. March, 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 march. March, 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 march. Okay, so from here, no arms, just our legs. So from here, we're gonna step to the side and back. Side and back. Side and back. Side. So how about we change this up a little bit? We're gonna do a one, two, three once we get to the middle. So it'll be like a little cha-cha and then a step to the side. So it's gonna look a little bit like this. Step, cha-cha-cha, step, Cha cha cha. Step. Cha cha cha. One, two, three, four. 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 All right. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. So learning these new patterns, again, that's what we want. We're looking at learning. Two, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. All right. Cha cha cha, cha cha cha, cha cha cha, cha cha cha. Okay, how does that feel? Cha cha cha, cha cha. So we add some arms. Cha cha cha, cha cha cha. Okay, cha cha cha, cha cha cha, cha cha cha, cha cha cha. One two three, one two three. Three, one, two, three. Four, three, two, one. Just our legs. Two, three, four. 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 All right, just back and forth. Step to the side. Side and back, side and back. So we're gonna do some modified jumping jacks now. It's gonna look like up and back, up and back. Again, the more muscle groups that we have moving, the better it is for us. Try and bring your hands up to shoulder height if you can. Step to the side and bring both arms up to the side. So this is like a modified jumping jack. 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Just our legs. Should we try the cha-cha again? Why not? Let's give it a go. Step to the side. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Cha-cha-cha. 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 Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Okay, just marching on the spot. All right, we got learning. We got growth. We have development. Hope you're having a fun time. Okay, a few more minutes here. We're gonna be getting closer to that peak 20 minutes that we're looking for of continuous movement. March, 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 march. I'm gonna sit down. March, 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 and march. All right. How about now, no arms, just our legs. We're gonna do heel taps with a cha-cha-cha. So instead of going to the side and cha-cha, we're gonna go forward and cha-cha. So it's gonna look like this. So you'll tap, cha-cha-cha, tap, cha-cha-cha. Forward, forward, cha-cha-cha. Cha-cha-cha, cha-cha-cha. Cha-cha-cha, cha-cha-cha. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Marching on the spot. March, 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 and march. So, shall we try and add a little bit of our arm rolls in there? We got a lot of new things going on today. I hope you're having fun. So, marching on the spot, rolling your hands. March, 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 and march. March, 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 march. So when we have learning like this going on, another thing I was thinking about, you know, I'm right-handed, so when I'm working on a computer, more often than not, when I have the mouse, I'm using my right hand to do all the clicking. I should try and do it with my left hand, so it's forcing me to learn. It's rewiring. It's creating those learning opportunities. March, 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 doing something like this, some new movements, the same sort of thing. Hard at first, eventually it becomes second nature and you're able to do it with fewer problems. Four, three, two, and one. Marching on the spot. March, 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 and march. Again, never too old to learn. March, 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 and march. We're gonna try our heel taps with the cha-cha-cha again. Here we go. Heel tap, cha-cha-cha, tap, cha-cha-cha, tap, cha-cha-cha, 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 tap, cha-cha-cha, tap, cha-cha-cha. Okay. Tap, cha-cha-cha. Four, three, two, and one, just marching it out. Okay, we're gonna go for just a little mini run. Then we're gonna cool things off with our cardio cool down. We're gonna get into our strength training. Of course, then we do our balance training, finishing it off with some flexibility and our Parkinson specific exercises here. March, march, march in. March, march. Okay, so let's go for a little bit of a run in four, three, two, and one. Picking it up. March, 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 and march. March, 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 march. March, 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 and march. March, 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 march. Ten, 
nine, eight, seven, six, halfway there, four, three, two, and one. All right, gang. Woo! That was a good cardio session today. Thank goodness it's Monday. I love that, Pete. Never heard that one before. I'm glad you introduced that to me. It's a state of mind. Remember back in the day, that song, I don't like Mondays? Well, you know what? Let's turn that around. Thank goodness it's Monday. March, 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 March. March, March. March, March. No arms. Just our legs. Slowing it down. March, 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 and March. March, March. All right. So, yes, we're trying to bring our breathing rate down, our heart rate down. Spreading all that oxygen that we've just breathed in with our cardio, getting it to different parts of our body, getting it to the lower legs, getting it to our feet, our arms, our hands and fingers, most importantly our brain. Our brain loves this oxygen. Heart and lungs feel good, feeling alive, all that, all those great hormones running through your body right now. All right. All right, so slow things down a little bit more. We're just gonna do heel taps, stationary heel taps. Tap, 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 and tap. Now, as we get older, it gets harder to warm up, and it gets harder to slow down. So that's why we have to make enough time to warm up properly and to slow down properly. So if we stop all of a sudden, that's pretty hard on your heart. And we don't want to make things more difficult for us. Other foot, tapping her heel. Tap, 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 and tap. Tap, tap. Okay. How about now? Let's, let's try a little bit of swimming. We'll start off with a front crawl. One arm comes forward. And then the next. Forward. And next. You swimmers know this is the freestyle. You want it? You could do a help to head tilt to the side for a breathing. I typically tilt my head every third stroke. Everybody else, yeah, let's just keep our heads up high. Going forward. Now let's go backwards. Back crawl. One arm goes back, and then the other. If you find that you have some shoulder pain, you don't have to do the great big circles like this. You can do sideways and back, sideways, and back. But if you do have full range of motion in your shoulders, let's use that full range of motion. Okay, now we're gonna go to a breaststroke. So both hands in front like this. You're gonna bring your arms down like this, together, and shoot it up front. Apart, pulling the water down, together. Sometimes if you don't even think about things, you just start moving your body, you're able to figure out things easier that way. I coach soccer, coach my twin boys soccer team, they're 12 years old, and more often than not, instead of me going on and on about directions, I just get them doing it. And you can see the light bulbs all turn on, they figured out the patterns, what I'm asking them to do, and then I explain to them why we're doing it. Okay, that's it for swimming. Now we're just going to lift our arms straight up and back. When we go up, let's make a fist. Working on our grip strength. Making a fist. And down. We're going to do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, think of your posture. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, now we're gonna finish off our cardio cool down with some heel tap in front, together. Tap to the side, and together. Front, back, side, back. Nice and slow, very purposeful. As I said, we're trying to lower our heart rate. 
lower our breathing rate. Front, back, together. Front, back, side, together. Here's four, three, two, last one. Back, side, together. Hey, hey, all right, we just finished our cardio warm up our cardio and our cardio cool down. That's awesome. I think now you can get yourself a sip of water. I know I certainly need one. Mm. Oh, that tastes so good. I need to have a second. Okay, so from there, we're going to transition into our strength training. So instead of having hand weights or therabeds, if you want to use them, by all means, you can use them. I'm thinking of you you folks that maybe don't have uh, any hand weights around or any sort of resistance uh, therabands or surgical tubing we're just going to use gravity the same motions are exactly the same so we're going to start off with we're going to do some straight arm raises so I'll do it from a seated position I'm going to demonstrate sitting down but I'm going to do them standing up so I'm thinking of my posture sitting up nice and straight I'm going to bring my arms all the way up to shoulder height two three and down two three so that's what it looks like sitting down from a standing position it'll be the same thing i like to try and have my feet wider than my shoulders so i have a nice solid foundation beneath myself here it distributes my weight over a greater area so i'm going to be having my palms facing my body i'm bringing my hands up two three and down two three up and down so we're doing this nice and slow very purposeful the slower we do it the harder it is and that's where we get that growth that's where we get that development it's giving our muscle fibers the opportunity to your muscle fibers do a little ripping and through that ripping you get growth and development so the slower we can do it the more muscle fibers we should be creating and down two more Shoulder height up and down. Last one up and down. All right, those are our straight arm raises. From here, we're going to do some chest presses. So, if you again, if you have therabands or resistance tubing, you can use that. If you have hand weights or cans of soup, you can use that as well. For everybody else, I'm not going to be using hand weights today, I'm just going to be using gravity. So I'm going to demonstrate standing up, but I'm going to do them sitting down. I'll give you a profile shot, so I'll show you what it looks like. I'm going to have my arms out in front like this. I'm bringing my arms to like a 90 degree angle. So you're stretching across the chest, and then I'm pushing all the way back to the front. As I said, I'm going to do these sitting down. So if you want to stand up, you can do them. I'm thinking of my posture, sitting up nice and straight. My shoulders are back, great big smile on my face. Arms out in front, bring my arms back to a 90 degree angle, and forward. One, two, three, back, three, two, one, forward. One, two, three, back, three, two, one, forward. All right, how does that feel? If you find that it hurts your shoulder, you got pain in your shoulders from doing this you can just do one arm if you want or you can lower your arms sometimes that makes a difference as well there is a great big difference between being sore and dealing with pain we don't want pain if you're feeling pain you just stop soreness is okay we can work through the soreness our body's just adapting to exercise we're doing one more right back for those of you just new to exercise, you'll find that, yes, you'll be sore today, but you could even be more sore tomorrow or the day after that. That's okay. Your body is learning. You will adapt. You will learn to, actually, you kind of learn to like that, uh, that, that feeling because you, in your mind, you know that you have some growth and development going on. And that's what we want. So that's our chest presses. Now we're going to do our bicep curls. Now it's really important whenever we're doing any sort of strength training or resistance training that we really focus on our technique. 
because if we're doing something wrong, that's when injuries can happen. Uh, so let's think about what we're doing. Sitting up nice and straight, or standing nice and straight. I've got my elbows tight to my body. Looking forward, thinking of your posture. We're going to be bringing our hands up nice and slowly, and down nice and slowly. All right, here's one. Down. Here's two. And down. Nice, slow, very purposeful. Three, halfway there. And down. Here's four. And down. All right. Here's five. And down. And six. And down. All right. How did that feel? Good, I hope. Again, big thing is technique, really focusing on what you're doing here, doing it very purposeful and slower the better. That's ideal. So we're going to try and do, we're going to do repetition of those three exercises again, but we're only going to do four instead of six. We're going to go a little bit faster. So we're going to do our straight arm raises. So sitting up nice and straight or standing nice and straight. Palms are facing your body. Bring your hand up to shoulder height. And down. That's one. Here's two. Three. And four. All right. So we just finished our second set there. From here, we're going to do our chest presses. I'm going to do this standing up because I did them sitting down before. I'm going to have my arms out in front. Bring him to the side to 90 degree angle. And out. That's one. Here's two. Three. And four. Okay, from here we're going to do our bicep curls. You can sit down to do this is fine. Again, keeping our elbows tight to our bodies. Our palms are facing forward. We're curling our hands like we're picking up a bag of groceries. And down. We're picking up our grandkids. Here's another one. And down. Two more. Three. And down. Last one. Four. Okay, you know we couldn't avoid it. We have to do our sit to stands. Those are the hard things, or we can do squats as well. <coughs> I'm going to demonstrate squats standing up, but I'm going to do these exercises from a seated position. I'm going to do the sit to stands. So from a standing position, doing squats, I'm going to have a chair to hang on to here. I'm keeping my feet wider than my shoulders. You'll notice as I'm going down, I'm shooting my butt out to the to the back, so I'm not bending over like this. I'm just basically shooting my butt out to the back. So again, feet are nice and wide, bringing onto the chair. I'm bending down on the knees so at a 90 degree angle. And as I do, I'm kicking my butt out to the back and up. So if you're able to do a full squat like, squat like that, that's fantastic. If you're only able to go like that, that's good too. That totally works for me because I know you're doing everything that you can. And to me, that's way more impressive. The fact that you're doing everything that you can to exercise. So that's what it looks like from a standing position. As I said, I'm going to do it from a seated position. These are sit to stands. So we're exercising the same muscle. These are the quadriceps. It's also working our glute, our gluteal muscles, our butt. So that's a good thing. So sit to stands. Feet are wider than shoulder width apart. I'm standing up fully, and then I'm sitting down again. Watch how I shoot my butt out to the back. We're doing six. Here's one. Here's two. And so our quadriceps, these muscles are really important for helping us prevent falls. So if we can keep our muscles talking nice and clearly with our brain, that's what we want. In order to do that, we got to exercise it properly and regularly. Let's do one more. Down. And up. Okay. So that's it for our sit to stand. By all means, if you think that you can do more, you can come back and do these classes whenever you want. 
Uh, try and do it as frequently as possible though. Again, the minimum we're looking at per week is 150 minutes. So that's three, three of these classes a week, but if you can do more, that's what we want. Okay, we're gonna do some calf raises. We can do this from a standing or a sitting position. I'm gonna demonstrate standing up, but I'm gonna do them sitting down. So calf raises, I'm going up on my toe and down. So for a three count up and a three count down from a seated position, it's gonna be the same thing. You're just gonna be standing on your toes. Here we go, we're doing six. We're going up, two, three, and down, two, three. There's one, here's two, and three, here's four, and five. And six. Hey, hey, all right. We just finished our strength training. So now we're going to transition into our balance training. So a lot of these exercises are going to take, are going to require you to stand up. If you can only sit down, uh, the one thing that you can do to work, there's actually two things you could do to work on your balance. One is closing one eye and closing the other. You'll find that that will play with your balance a little bit. The other thing is to, like the shifting your weight forward. You know how you're going to the washroom, you're trying to get up off a chair, leaning forward. So I want you to, if you can't stand up, if you can only sit down, I want you leaning, practicing going forward, placing the weight of your upper body on the balls of your feet, and then back. So that's what you can do if you can only sit down. For everybody else that can stand up, we're going to start off with rocking. So we're going to keep our feet nice and wide. We're going to place one foot in front of the other, just like this. I'm leaning forward and then back. If you need to have a chair to hang on to, by all means, I would suggest that you have a chair or at least a wall to hang on to. Forward. But if you don't need it, don't use it. Forward and back one more time forward and back okay switching our legs putting the other foot forward hanging on to the chair if you need to keeping your feet nice and wide distributing our weight forward and back forward and back two more shifting your weight forward back, last one, forward, and back, all right, so from there we're going to do our one-legged stand, you can either raise your knee in front of you, or if you want, you could always bring your foot back like this, whichever is best for you is best for me, I'm going to have a chair to hang on to just in case I need it, um, it'll help stabilize me, I'm bringing my leg forward, but if you want to bring your knee back, you can do that. Balancing there. You can stick your arms out like this, that will help. And down, changing our legs. Other legs going up. I'm hanging on to the chair for a little extra stability. You could also have your hand on the wall, that'll work too. down, switching legs, it's my daughter and my niece and my wife are off to volleyball camp. Yeah, here in Manitoba we're pretty fortunate with our COVID rates and down that we're able to have sports like soccer, have sports like volleyball. Okay, that's our one leg standing. Now we're going to shift our weight from side to side. You're going to find that I'm going to keep my foot on the ground. And I'm going to have a chair to hang on to there for some stability. For those of you that need the extra challenge, you can bring your foot up and off the ground. Everybody else, you can just hang on to the chair if you need to. What we do to one side, we'll do to the other. And this is something that you can do while you're washing dishes or you're brushing your teeth. 
so that you can put your hand on the sink or the countertop you need to help stabilize. The more balance training that we can do, the better it is. It's helping our brain micro do those little micro movements to keep you standing up, making all those little adjustments. Keeping your weight one more time each side. If you need an extra challenge, you can take your foot up off the ground or you can even close one eye. You can go like this. Whatever is best for you. And one more time, the other side. Again, it does help to stick your arms off to the side. Think of those tightrope walkers that are carrying those big long beams. Help distributing their weight instead of it all being on that one little area. It's spreading it out over a larger surface. Okay, and you know any sort of balance exercise uh, class will include our Johnny Cash. So we're going to walk the line. We're going to place one foot in front of the other. We're going to have an imaginary line in front of us. And we're going to walk on that line. Walking forward. And let's go back. Try that again, walking forward, and back. All right, so we just finished our balance training. Now we're going to do a little bit of flexibility. We're going to work on that. First thing that we're going to do, we are going to do our inner thigh stretch. It's been a while since we've done that, so if you're sitting down, you can do this, or standing up, whatever is best for you. We're sticking one leg out to the side. You're going to rest your body weight on your other knee like this. So, and you're going to feel a stretch along your groin area. Stretching it right there, holding it. So ideally, we want to be holding our stretches for about 30 seconds. It takes a while for our brains to talk to our muscles and to relax. So you know it's okay to do a stretch like that. You can take it easy. You can push a little bit further. Now what we do to one side, we got to do to the other. Sticking our leg out. Let's think of our posture. Let's put some smiles on our faces. There we go. Oh, it feels good to stretch our inner thigh. One more time. Each side. Leg off to the side. So I live on a dead end street right next to a seniors condominium. And there are so many walkers today. It's a beautiful summer day. Lots of people out and about getting some exercise. Other side. It's great. I love seeing people being active. Okay, now we're going to stretch our calves. So this, again, this can be done from a seated position. Sticking one leg out. I'll give you a profile shot so you can see better what I'm doing here. So one leg out. I'm going to be bringing my toe back towards my body. And let's hold that stretch. You should feel this, should feel it along the lower part, the back side of your leg. Let's think of our posture, sitting up nice and straight. And relax. Other foot. Foot goes out. Toe comes back. Holding it there. All right. One more time. Each leg, foot goes out. Bringing your toe towards your body. Last one. Foot goes out. Bringing your toe all the way back. Feel that glorious stretch. All right. How about now? We're going to stretch out our chest. Do some chest presses today. So your chest might be a little bit sore, a little bit tender. We're going to stick our arms out. If you can try and hold them about shoulder height. 
bring your arms back like this. You should feel the stretch along along your pectoral region here, your chest region. Let's hold that stretch. Oh, that feels good. And relax. Bringing your arm across. You're going to swoop up underneath. You're going to grab your elbow. You're going to pull your elbow in. So you should feel the stretch along the top part of the back side of your arm. It's your tricep region. Those are the muscles that are responsible for any sort of reaching that you're doing. Big chest stretch again. Hold it there. Let's put some big smiles on our faces. Now we're going to bring our arm the other way. So we're going to swoop up underneath. You're going to grab your elbow. And you're going to bring it in tight to your body. Again, you should feel the stretch on the top part, back side of your arm, with your triceps, our extenders. One more time, great big chest stretch. After this chest stretch, we're gonna do a nice big bear hug for ourselves. Holding it wide, crisscrossing our arms. See how far back you can get your fingers on your back. Oh, that feels good. Okay, now we're gonna finish off our stretching with upper back stretch. We're going to interlock our fingers like this. You're going to face your palms out like this. And you're going to bring them as high as you can. If you're feeling any pain, you can keep your hands low. But for everybody else, you can bring your hands up high. Holding it there. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And down. Alright, from here we're going to bring our chin to our chest. Nice gentle stretch. Not too hard. Head to a neutral position. Now we're going to bring our ear down to our shoulders. Head to neutral. Other shoulder. Neutral. Chin to chest again. Nice breathing. And up. Let's do a shoulder check. See if there's anybody coming behind us. Nice, slow and gentle. Head back to neutral. Shoulder check the other side. Oh, that feels glorious. Alright, so now we're going to do our Parkinson specific exercises here. So you know, some of these things aren't the most sexy things in the world, but we don't care. We're looking for functionality. We're looking for quality of life. So we're going to work on our tongue exercises first. Sometimes with Parkinson's disease, it does get challenging to talk. So we have to exercise all the muscles in our face. Um, and our tongue is definitely one of the muscles that we want to and need to exercise. So we're going to stick out our tongue. We're going to stick it out and try and point up. And in. So we're going to stick our tongue out and down. You're sticking your tongue out and to that side. And in and out into that side. Okay, we're going to try it one more time. Each direction we're going out and up. Going out and down. We're going out and to that side. And out and to that side. From here, let's work on our big smile. Our Parkinson mask, we're going to work on our smile. Great big smile. If you could look in the mirror, practice this. There you go. Great big smile. Let's hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay, now we're going to open our jaw. Working on the muscles that are responsible for chewing our food. Opening up nice and wide. And 
relax. Go to our smile again. Great big smile. Opening our jaw. And relax. Now we're going to do our side cheek stretch. So I'm going to ask you to put the palm of your hand along the side of your face. We're going to pull back to the side and up. We're going to stretch all those little muscles that surround our mouth that help kind of shape our lips. Can kind of stop us from drooling. Again, not a sexy thing, but it's reality for some of us. Holding it there. And relax, we're doing the other side now. We're always looking for balance whenever we're exercising. We do to one side. They're pulling to the side and up. Stretching those little facial muscles around the side of your mouth. And we're going to finish off with our finger exercises. So these tiny little muscles that are in our fingers, they're used for zipping up zippers and tying shoes, uh, little fine, fine motor movements like that. So we're going to start off with index, middle, ring, pinky. Index, middle, ring, and pinky. Index, middle, ring, and pinky. Index, middle, ring, and pinky. About to give one person a big shout out. Hello, Arthur up in the Arctic Circle. Great to hear from you the other day, Arthur. Okay, so that's it for our class for today. Don't forget that this is a part of the Parkinson Canada Superwalk campaign. We are having the Superwalk. It is a virtual Superwalk this year. So we're encouraging you to be walking with family and friends in your neighborhood. Oh, we're still doing all the fundraising. We still have the campaign going because we want to be able to provide you further with uh, with all these programs that uh, help improve the quality of life and as well as uh, channeling the, the money that's raised towards research so that one day we can find a cure to Parkinson's disease. So again, the walk is on Saturday, September the 12th. It's a virtual walk. If you have any questions, you can contact uh, Alejandro at one 800 Five six five three thousand. Alejandro is just an absolute gem of a human. He's got all the answers related to Superwalk. Now you can also go to www.superwalk.ca. The website's really been updated this year. It's much more user friendly, and in there you will find that we have a walk in the box toolbox. So the walk in the box will help you plan and promote and being able to celebrate the super walk. There's lots of great tools on there. You're able to make your own posters and you can put your own images on the posters. So if you want to put it up, posters up in your neighborhood, you can have pictures of yourself or family members or loved ones uh, on the posters to help promote the event. And we do have uh, copies, physical copies of the box. If you are interest, interested in something like that, contact your Parkinson office and we will do what we can to get the physical boxes off to you or you can always call Alejandro and again his number is 1-800-565-3000. Well that's it for today gang. I'll see you tomorrow at 1.30 central time. That's 2.30 eastern. Until then, take care. Bye bye.